Where are we now? We are in the old city of Hebron. But listen, if, if the soldiers like ask you what are you doing, you can just say I'm filming the old buildings. Don't okay. say I'm making documentary or something political because they will not allow you. For me it's the same. Like uh, I don't feel that it's going to make any change for the Palestinians and not even for the Israelis. First of all, because they don't have options. If you look at the options that they have, the most extremist leaders, like they're presenting themselves as extremists, as Zionists. So, so even for the Israelis, they don't have options to lift for like a good party. And uh, I think that but this, this year for the election is a kind of different than the others. Because uh, we look at the election campaign, it's totally different than, than what's usually, you know. If you look at uh, Netanyahu, is promising the settlers to keep them in the, net, in the West Bank. If you look at Tzabu is he's promising uh, the Israelis that she's going to destroy Hamas and she's going to like uh, end the terrorism, the Palestinian terrorism. If you look at Barak, it's the same. We're going to end Hamas, we're going to uh, fight for your security, we're going to bring Jewish from all over the world. If you look at the uh, Leperman, it's also the same. Loyalty for citizenship and all these like fascist, uh, uh, like, you know, quotes for the election campaign so it's more about like who's better who can beat the Palestinian better who he is the winner who can like kill more and more Palestinians he have the possibility to be elected from the people like as I was telling you earlier like uh, it's not as usual like you know we're gonna develop the country the education the health system the the economic no we're gonna beat the Palestinians we're gonna keep our borders we're gonna fight against terrorism we're gonna stop Hamas rockets we're gonna do this and this so this is the elections